Hey guys, welcome to another video. Wow, this lighting is like horrible, I'm so sorry. So with the holiday season right around the corner and everyone buying gifts, I decided in today's video I was going to focus on the upcoming holidays, you know, Christmas and Hanukkah and Kwanzaa, I don't know, like whatever you celebrate. And this also obviously applies to any future holidays or your birthday or anything that you like to celebrate. These are good to use. And just a reminder, I have videos on my channel about past holidays we've had like Halloween and um, Thanksgiving. So go check those out if you haven't already seen them. It's really important to have a sustainable holiday season. So here's my guide to a more sustainable holiday season. Let's go. Let's start this video off with uh, the food because who doesn't like holiday food? Honestly, I feel like in this day and age, so many people are more focused on the food than the actual holiday. You know, we just had Thanksgiving and the fact that so many people call it Turkey Day is a little bit sad and disturbing. But Thanksgiving is not the only holiday where we eat unsustainable food. Right after Thanksgiving, millions of more turkeys are killed for Christmas. Eating vegan food is one of the best ways you can lower your carbon footprint significantly. And you can help save the planet. It's also just important to be conscious about how much food you're eating that's local and organic and just supporting any small farmers in town. Also, I mentioned this in my Thanksgiving video, but being conscious about the amount of food you're eating is super important. I also, I mentioned this in my previous Thanksgiving video, but being conscious of how much food you buy is so important. You don't wanna buy so much that it's, a lot of it is going to waste. And if you do have any food scraps in the end, make sure they're getting composted. Lastly, be sure to use all your reusables like plates and napkins, utensils. Just don't, just don't go for disposables this year. I know it's convenient, but you save not only the planet, but also money with reusables. All right, so number two, I'm gonna say is candles. And this, yes, this applies to holidays, but it also kind of applies to real life, regular life. A number of holidays do involve candles. However, candles are not always the most sustainable. Paraffin, for example, is made of fossil fuels and releases chemicals into the atmosphere. Candles are generally something you should be cautious about using because obviously you have to light a fire to make them work. Of course, I always have resources linked below, so go check out the article I found talking about the best kinds of candles to use. Um, I think they suggested a wood wick candle, which is really interesting. I don't think I've ever seen those, and it's, that's what's sad. The most sustainable option is the least common one. All right, next we have the tree. So I think we all know what I'm talking about when I talk about the tree. It's it's the Christmas tree. And this is such a such a big one and such a debatable one. Do you go with a reusable plastic artificial Christmas tree or do you go with a new natural Christmas tree every year? And which one can you care for? Which one? There's so many things to consider with buying a Christmas tree. So it's a big question. Ultimately, both have a significant amount of pros and cons. So it's really up to you, whatever you think works for you. Just a quick example though, a fake tree is made out of plastic and pr the production of plastic is obviously not the best for our planet. However, a natural tree is made with new resources that have to pre be produced every single year in order to grow a new Christmas tree. And you have to be able to dispose of that tree. So the answer here, I would say is to consult yourself. If you know you can maintain and properly care for a real tree as well as disposing of it, then go for it. However, if you have the space to store this tree all year round to reuse for future years or you just can't maintain one, then go for the fake tree that will be like a one and done kind of situation. Next, we got the lights. This is pretty similar to the Christmas tree situation. However, some people do lights even without the tree. Um, I've definitely seen lights around people's houses. I have lights in my own house, even though we don't have a tree. And lights are fun and festive, right? However, using lights around your house or around your tree might not be the most environmentally friendly situation. As always, if you already have them, use them. That's what I say. We have Christmas tree lights in my house, so we've been using them. If you are a first time light buyer and insist on buying lights, I obviously strongly suggest using LEDs. They're inexpensive, safe to use, durable, and most of all, they are the most energy efficient. This is important because regular lights waste a lot of energy and coal, natural gas, and so many resources that we can't replenish. In effect, they pollute the earth. Along with your lights, decorating your house in any way is 
obviously something a lot of people like to do, but it's also important to do this in a sustainable way. Using decorations you already have is a crucial way to save our planet. It's one way we can turn our economy more circular. Another way you can do that is by repurposing household items as decorations or buying secondhand decor. All of these are better than buying first-hand decorations that are kind of useless and you're not going to be able to appreciate causing you to throw them out before next year even arrives. I also strongly recommend you avoid glittery decorations as well as any cards or gift bags with glitter because although it's really fun, glitter is basically microplastics that simply end up in our water and are very, very hard to filter out. Lastly, but definitely not leastly, we have the gifts. And I, I know leastly is not a word. Buying and receiving gifts is very fun. However, doing it right is hard. The strongest choice is to simply ask for nothing. But what fun is that? None. And when we live in such a consumerist society, asking for nothing usually results in being gifted with a lot of stuff that you really didn't want or need. It's a great idea to ask for experiences, as well as asking people to donate to an organization you support, or just generally a non-material gift. However, to the people that do insist on giving you a gift that they can hand you, here are a few ideas. Ask for something vegan, ask for something from a small local business, or ask for something that has been proven sustainable. Do any research you can ahead of time on the products that you want. And if you do go out to buy it from a real store, which I don't think a lot of people are with you anyways, but if you do, bring a reusable bag. The best suggestion I could give you is to just buy something secondhand, or better yet, make something with the stuff you already own. Use materials that typically end up in the trash. Be creative, and that is one of the best ways to reach the heart. Technically, when you buy or give something with secondhand materials or with things you already own, you don't really have to worry about the item aligning with your values perfectly because you already owned it, and it otherwise would have just ended up in the trash. Buy or ask for gifts that will help you live a more sustainable life. That's what I did for my birthday, and I got a whole bunch of zero waste items. Ask for something with minimal packaging that will actually be useful for your life. Like I mentioned before, support small local businesses or websites, and just make sure you aren't getting greenwashed. Resources to some of my favorite videos on choosing gifts uh, will be linked below. And packaging gifts is a whole other story, but to put it simply, I strongly recommend that you use bags that you already have, which can be reused for years to come, avoiding the wrapping paper situation entirely. It saves time, saves money, saves resources. Keeping gifts digital when possible is also a really cool choice because you don't need any package. Again, avoid ribbons or um, bows oh, like or a little present. sticky stuff that you really don't need. That's good. are not always recyclable and definitely not compostable. Again, avoid glitter at all costs because as I said before, glitter is simply many, many microplastics. In conclusion, it's important to make the holidays about what they really are. Gifts and food are nice to have and good to be appreciative of, but the time you get with friends and family is even more important, whether you have to do that virtually this year or you get to celebrate in person. I hope all you guys watching have a happy, healthy, and less wasteful holiday season this year. And for now, peace. Enjoy this blooper, guys, of my cat. And uh, clearly you can see that she doesn't like ribbon either or bows or anything. Um, and remember to like and subscribe and comment and share the video. All right, guys, peace.